I love audiobooks so much because you can just listen to them everywhere. Like I'm doing so many things while I'm listening to audiobooks. I can be very productive like this. And because I'm listening to so many audiobooks every month, I think it's finally the time for me to recommend some audiobooks. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane and today I'm doing audiobooks recommendations. I'm really, really excited for this video. I'm going to talk about some recommendations and I was already making this list for a while. I wanted to pick the best audiobooks that I listened to so far and I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a series on my channel because again I listen to a lot of audiobooks every month so I'm sure there will be much more videos like this. Now most of the audiobooks that I'm going to recommend are romance books because I feel like generally contemporary books and romance books are more easy to listen on audio but not all of the recommendations are romances and I have also a good amount of new releases which is nice and before we get started I wanted to say that all books that I'm going to talk about today are books that I listened on Scribd might not be available to you because I know it depends on your location but those are books that were available on Scribd so there is a chance that will be available to you too and I also have a link for 60 day free if you want to sign up but yes let's start with the audiobook recommendations now like I said I do have a good amount of new releases so I think that let's just start with those new releases and the first book that I want to recommend is a book that I just loved so much. The narrators of the audiobooks were so good. And this book is made in Korea by Sarah Sook and this is my favorite YA high school romance that I read in 2021. It was so good and I just felt so in the story. Everything just felt so right and so genuine. Basically we are following two teenagers. The first one, Valerie, runs a K-beauty business with her cousin at their school. And they basically sell K-beauty products and their business is going really well until Wes, the new boy in school, arrives and he also starts to sell K-beauty products. So yes, this is Enemies to Lovers and I love this story so much. The plot was really good, the characters were really good, and especially if you love Korea and K-pop, K-dramas, anything Korean. I think you will really like this book because there is a lot of references here. And yes, it was just made so so well. And the reason that I really recommend the audiobook is because the narrators did an amazing job. There was two narrators. The male one was really, really nice. I really love his acting, but the female one, wow. She was so good and she made the voices of the characters so amazing. And she also made the voice of the grandmother of Valerie amazing. She was one of my favorite characters because of it. And yes, it was a really good audiobook. I had an amazing time listening to it. I really recommend it, especially if you love Korea, because you will just adore this book. Now, the next audiobook new release recommendation is Dial A for Aunties by Jess Q. Sutanto. This book was just hilarious. Basically, this is a contemporary romance, thriller, mystery, comedy, like it's a lot of genres, but basically some kind of thriller where the main character is the villain of the story. And basically the main character is really close with her family, with her mother and all of her aunties. And all of them are old Asian women and they are just really, really funny. And the narrator does an amazing job with all of their voices and accents. This is one of the reasons that the audiobook was so enjoyable but the main character gets to this situation that she has a body of dead men and she needs to hide it so all of her aunties and her mom are helping her to hide it but of course it isn't that easy and things starting to get complicated and also there is a romance and I personally really enjoyed the romance part and yes this whole story was just really really hilarious so funny I was laughing non-stop and again the narrator did an amazing job with all of the voices especially the voices of the aunties it was just so so enjoyable and so fun. I think it's a great summer read. It was just so quick, fun, really good and I enjoyed so much. Now the last new release that I'm going to talk about today is actually a book that I didn't know that this is a new release. And this is You Have a Match by Emma Lord and it was just so perfect. This is another YA romance but the romance isn't the main part of the story as it deals a lot with family and family dynamics. Now every time that I talked about this book before on my channel I always said that it gives major parent trap vibes. And I'm not just saying it, it's actually true. It isn't the plot of two sisters switching between each other. But basically, the main character of the story does a DNA test and she is finding out that she has an old sister that she don't know about because her parents never told her and her brothers about it. And basically, she goes to the summer camp because her sister is a guide in the summer camp. So the point is for them to get to know each other. Again, it actually gives the parent trap vibes. Just the 
whole book, the whole feel of the book, just everything. And I think that it was such a well-made book. Also the characters, also the plot, just everything felt so in place and so real. I really loved how real the character were. And again, it deals a lot with family dynamics but in a really fun way. And there is also a romance, like I said. I just really, really enjoyed this book. It has summer vibes. The audiobook was really nice. The narrator was really good and it was really quick and fun to listen on audiobook. And yes, if you love The Parent Trap, just read this book. Like, it's really, really good. So now we finished with the new releases. But there is a lot of other audiobooks to recommend. And the next recommendation is a recommendation that I personally heard a lot before. I really want to hype this book even more because it was really, really good. And I think it definitely lives up to the hype. And this is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is historical fiction. And it was just so, so good. Now, Evelyn Hugo is this huge star. Everyone knows about her. And in this current time, of the story, Evelyn Hugo is already old, and the main character of the story is a reporter that goes to her house to listen to her life story. So we're basically going back to the past to hear about Evelyn's life story, and she is telling all of the things that she went for to get to be such a famous star, and especially she's talking about her seven husbands. And there is the big question of who was her real love. Now, not only the plot is really good and the characters are amazing, I think that Evelyn Hugo character is one one of the best characters that I ever read about. It was just so enjoyable and her character was so good and unique. I just really loved everything about this story. I had an amazing time listening to it. And the reason that I'm recommending the audiobook is because the audiobook just made the story come to life. Just something in the narrators and in the tone of the story just felt so suitable for the audiobook. It just made everything so enjoyable. And it just was a perfect audiobook. Just this kind of audiobooks that you want to keep and keep listening and just not stop listening to them. And yes, it was just so amazing, so fun, really sad and emotional story. And yes, basically the life story of Evelyn Hugo, definitely one of my favorite books of 2021. So yes, again, it definitely lives up to the hype. Now, the next recommendation is another YA Roman story, and this is 10 Blind Dates. And this story takes place in winter, in winter vacation, so it has a lot of Christmas vibes. And yes, we are currently in summer, but I appreciate constantly read seasonal books, also if I'm not in the season. But yes, basically the main character of the story goes to her grandmother and her big family for a winter vacation, and one day before she goes to this vacation, her boyfriend wakes up from her, and because her family doesn't want her to be sad, they set her up to 10 blind dates. Basically, every other member of the family chooses another guy that she's going to date, and this story was just so quick, funny, and adorable. She's basically going to 10 different blind dates with 10 different guys and the reason that I love this book so much is because everything felt so real because if you're thinking about the idea it doesn't really realistic and really sounds real but when you actually get to the story everything just connects together in such a good way I actually just picked a random audiobook and I'm really really happy that I picked this one because it was so enjoyable I also listened to the whole audiobook in one day because it was just so fun I had such a good time listening to this book and also I think that the narrator did a good job. It felt really natural and really fun and just really suitable for audio. And yes, it was just such a fun YA romance story. So if you are looking for some romance audiobooks, I really recommend this one. It was really good. And the next audiobook is actually an audiobook written in verse in poetry. And this is The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. This story was just wow. So basically the whole story is written in verse in poetry. And Dean Atta writes his own life story as a black queer man and his story of coming out and the whole story is really really emotional but just so fun to listen to. The audiobook is also really short like I think something like three hours because again the whole book is written in verse but I think that the most amazing thing is that Dean Atta is the narrator of the audiobook and you really feel the emotions in the poetry when he reads the poetry out loud like you just feel the emotions. It was my first time ever reading a book in verse and it was such an amazing experience. Like, it was just so fun and so amazing. And I don't want to say too much, but yes, it's just his life story. From the moment he was a child, definitely a book that I want to read, and I never read books, so it says a lot. And yes, if you are looking to read something in verse, also if it's your first time ever reading something in verse, I really recommend it, and the audiobook was amazing. The next audiobook recommendation is the perfect summer read and perfect enemies to lovers, and this is The Unhoneymooners by Chris 
Christina Loren. And oh my god, this book was just so enjoyable. Now, I usually listen to audiobooks on my way to walk or while I'm doing chores. And this is one of those audiobooks that I just kept listening to, also in my free time. And it just sat and stared on the wall and kept listening to the audiobook because I just didn't want to stop. And basically, the two main characters of the story are two adults that not getting really good with each other, the enemies part, and their siblings are getting married. But because of a lot of reasons, their siblings can't go to their own honeymoon. And if they don't go to the honeymoon, the honeymoon will just go to waste. So the two main characters of the story goes to this honeymoon instead of them. And in this honeymoon, they need to pretend that they are married or thought that they are enemies. So yes, it's not only enemies to lovers, it's also fake dating. And the two tropes played such a good part. And it was just so connected to each other in an amazing way. It was just so fun. Amazing characters. I really love the plot. Again, it has a major summer vibes. It was just really, really fun. It's also an adult romance. So yes, it's Timmy. And yes, I just don't want to say too much about this book. This is one of those books that I just keep hearing only good reviews about. I really get all the positive reviews. It's currently my favorite Christina Lauren book. I think it was also one of the first audiobook that I ever listened to. No, I'm pretty sure it was even the first audiobook that I listened to, like from start to finish only in audiobook. So it's a good place to start if you are new to audiobooks. But for honestly, all the audiobooks that I am recommending today are really good to start if you are new to audiobooks. But yes, it was just so, so amazing. Again, I keep hearing only good reviews about this book and it's for a good reason. So if you are looking for a cute, a summary adult romance with a lot of steaminess and if enemies to lovers or fake dating are one of your favorite tropes, definitely give this book a chance. And the next audiobook is another why romance? Because again, romances are just really easy and good to listen on audiobook. This is Rent a Boyfriend and I actually didn't hold about this audiobook anywhere. It's another audiobook that I just picked randomly and I'm really glad that I picked this one because it was really really fun and the author of this book got inspiration from renting a girlfriend or a boyfriend service which according to the book is thing that happens a lot in Asian countries. And basically the main character of the story is a girl to very very strict Asian parents and her parents want her to marry some guy and she doesn't want to marry this guy so she basically arrives to this dinner with a fake boyfriend that she rented. Basically show her parents that she have a boyfriend and of course this fake boyfriend and her are starting to fall in love. This is just a really fun fake dating. Also deals a lot with having strict parents and how to deal with them and I think that this story was just really good in the dynamics between the romance and the family. It made everything connect really well together. The narrator was really good. The audiobook was just really fun. And yes, I don't hear anybody talk about this book and I do really think that it was really, really good. So again, if you're looking for another audiobook by romance, this one was really enjoyable. So yes, those were all the audiobook recommendations. It's a list that I was thinking about for a while. I'm pretty sure that there is going to be a lot of more audiobook recommendations. So if you don't want to miss another recommendations video, be sure to hit the notification bell so you can get a notification when there will be another recommendation video. I know it took time for this video to be uploaded. It was supposed to be up already a week ago, but I had some audio problem. It was really, really fun to recommend all of those books to you. I really, really hope that you will enjoy them. And until my next video, you can check more videos by me and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!